Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Z Media, where the spotlight shines bright on the stars who have left an indelible mark on our hearts. Tonight, we gather to pay tribute to the cherished talents who have taken their final bow, leaving behind a legacy of laughter, tears, and unforgettable moments. Like shooting stars that burn bright in the ferment of fame, they illuminated our lives with their extraordinary gifts. Though their time on this earth was all too brief, their impact on our lives will be felt for generations to come. Join us on Z Media as we celebrate the lives, loves, and legacies of these beloved stars, and remember the magic they brought to our world. We remember a talented actress whose light was extinguished far too soon. Spencer Grammer, known for her roles in Rick and Morty and Greek, has left us, leaving a void in the entertainment world. Spencer Grammer was more than just an actress. She was a voice that resonated with millions. Her portrayal of Summer Smith in Rick and Morty brought humor and depth to an animated character, and as Casey Cartwright in Greek, she captured the essence of college life, making us laugh, cry, and reflect. But today, we gather not to celebrate her accomplishments, but to mourn her passing. Spencer Grammer's stepfather, Dr. Bill Skinner, was a pillar of support in her life. Despite the twists and turns, he remained a constant presence, a father figure who believed in her unconditionally. Spencer shared a heartfelt tribute on Instagram, writing, He always gave me a hug, always listened, always believed in me, and always supported me. But now, tragically, Dr. Bill has left us. Our hearts ache, and we wish we had more time with him. It's a reminder to cherish those we love, to capture moments in photographs, and to make time count. Life is fleeting, and we lost Dr. Bill too soon. His kindness and generosity touched many lives, including Spencer's. So, as we bid farewell to Spencer Grammer and honor her stepfather's memory, let's remember the impact they've had. We bring you heartbreaking news from the world of entertainment. Lisa Vanderpump, the renowned TV personality, actress, and businesswoman, has passed away. She was a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her elegance, wit, and unapologetic style. Vanderpump's impact extended far beyond the screen. She was a philanthropist, an advocate for animal rights, and a trailblazer in the reality television industry. From her iconic role on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills to her successful spin-off show Vanderpump Rules, Lisa enchanted audiences with her charisma and sharp humor. Her restaurants, including SUR and Pump, became cultural landmarks, drawing fans and foodies alike. Lisa was more than a TV star, she was a force of nature. Her elegance was matched only by her compassion. Whether she was advocating for LGBT plus rights or rescuing dogs, Lisa used her platform to make a difference. Tonight, fans around the world gather to honor Lisa's memory. The hashtag hashtag remembering Lisa trends on social media as tributes pour in from fellow celebrities, fans, and colleagues. Her legacy will forever resonate in the hearts of those who admired her. And so, as we bid farewell to Lisa Vanderpump, we remember her laughter, her elegance, and her unwavering spirit. We pay tribute to a true icon of the silver screen, Donald Sutherland, the gravelly voiced Canadian actor who graced both TV and movie screens, has passed away at the age of 88. Join us as we celebrate his remarkable career and legacy. Sutherland's journey began with classics like The Dirty Dozen and his unforgettable role as Hawkeye Pierce in Maz Asterisk Gate. His talent knew no bounds, and he continued to captivate audiences throughout the decades. From the haunting, don't look now, to the hilarious pot-smoking professor in Animal House. Sutherland's versatility was unmatched. His scream in Invasion of the Body Snatchers even became an internet sensation. Despite never winning an Oscar, Sutherland's accolades were plenty. Golden Globes, Primetime Emmys, and an Honorary Academy Award, all testament to his brilliance. And in 2023, Canada Post honored him with a stamp. Beyond the silver screen, Sutherland was a left-wing anti-war activist and a devoted father to actors Kiefer, Rossif, and Angus Sutherland. His advice to young actors? Work hard, be truthful, and observe. Tonight, we bid farewell to a legend. Donald Sutherland, your legacy lives on. We bring you heartbreaking news from the world of music. John Bon Jovi, the iconic American singer-songwriter and guitarist, has left us today. His legacy, etched in rock and roll history, spans decades. Born John Francis Bon Jovi Jr., John Bon Jovi founded the legendary band Bon Jovi back in 1983. Their anthems echoed through stadiums, 
their melodies etched into our hearts. From living on a prayer to wanted dead or alive, John's raspy voice and magnetic stage presence captivated millions. His lyrics spoke of love, resilience, and the human spirit. His former bandmates are heartbroken tonight. Alec John Such, the founding bass player, shared this. We found our way to each other through John. He was a childhood friend of Tico Torres and introduced Richie Sambora to our music. John Bon Jovi was always wild and full of life. His special memories bring smiles to our faces and tears to our eyes. And so, as we bid farewell to John Bon Jovi, we remember the anthems, the passion, and the indelible mark he left on the world. We pay tribute to a remarkable talent who graced both the small and big screens, Joan Benedict Steiger. Joan Benedict Steiger, born in Brooklyn, made her mark in the entertainment industry during the 1950s. She starred in the original iterations of hits like Candid Camera and The Steve Allen Show. Her portrayal of Edith Fairchild on General Hospital remains etched in our memories. Beyond television, Joan shone on stage, starring in one-woman shows and off-Broadway productions. From Promises, Promises, to the beauty queen of Lee Nain, her talent knew no bounds. TV viewers also remember her appearances on Fantasy Island and The Incredible Hulk. Joan's personal life was as captivating as her career. She was married to actor John Myers for 30 years. Later, she shared a brief but intense bond with actor Rod Steiger. Sadly, both Myers and Steiger have left us. In closing, let us celebrate Joan Benedict Steiger's legacy. A trailblazer, a gifted actress, and a woman who touched our hearts. We bring you a somber story from the world of sports. Joe Egan, the Irish professional boxer, has passed away at the age of 77. Let's delve into the life and legacy of this remarkable fighter. Joseph Egan was born into an Irish Catholic family on October 16, 1946, in Paley, near Glasgow. His journey from the gritty streets to the boxing ring captured hearts worldwide. Egan's fists were as fierce as his determination, and he left an indelible mark on the sport. Egan's most significant achievement came as Jerry Rafferty's partner in the band Steeler's Wheel. Their 1973 hit, Stuck in the Middle with You, resonated across the globe. Little did they know that two decades later, Quentin Tarantino would immortalize it in his feature film debut, Reservoir Dogs. But Joe Egan wasn't just a musician. He was also a former professional boxer. He trained with the legendary Iron Mike Tyson, a testament to his grit and resilience. Sadly, fate dealt him a cruel hand when he was shot twice outside his own pub. Yet Egan's spirit remained unbroken. Tonight, we bid farewell to a true warrior, a man who fought both in the ring and in life. Joe Egan, born on October 18, 1946, left us on July 6, 2024. His legacy lives on through his music, his boxing, and the memories etched in our hearts. We bring you a summer update from the world of entertainment. A beloved actress has left us, leaving behind a legacy that will forever resonate with audiences. Let's dive into the life and career of Marta Ora. Marta Ora, born on September 4, 1942, in Mexico City, was a remarkable talent. Despite her parents' initial disapproval, she pursued her passion for acting, leaving home alongside her sister, Maria Elena Ora, and brother, Alejandro Ora. Little did they know that Marta would go on to become a celebrated figure in Mexican cinema and television. In 1959, Marta made her stage debut, but it was in 1965 that she truly captured the spotlight. Her talent and dedication led her to meet actor Adam Guevara, with whom she had two children. After their divorce, fate intervened, and she found love again with Ruben Rojo, a Mexican actor of Spanish origin. Together, they had a son, Ruben Rojo Ora. Marta Ora's filmography is a testament to her versatility. From Courage, 2022, to Cuatro Lunas, 2017, she breathed life into diverse characters. Whether portraying a mother, a mysterious spirit, or a strong-willed woman, Marta's performances resonated with audiences across generations. Sadly, on July 8, 2022, Marta Ora passed away in Mexico City at the age of 791. Her legacy lives on through her three children and four grandchildren. As we bid farewell to this extraordinary actress, we bring you a somber update from the world of music. Legendary songwriter Cynthia Weil has left us, leaving behind a legacy that will resonate for generations. 
Cynthia Weil, the prolific songwriter behind timeless hits like You've Lost That Lovin' Feeling, has passed away at the age of 82. Her daughter, Dr. Jen Mann, confirmed the news, sharing that Weil peacefully departed on Thursday night at her home in Beverly Hills. Throughout her remarkable career, Weil penned chart toppers that became anthems for love, heartache, and resilience. Songs like On Broadway, Make Your Own Kind of Music, and Walking in the Rain captured the essence of their time and continue to touch hearts today. Born and raised in New York, Wal initially trained as an actress and dancer, but Destiny had other plans. She discovered her true passion, songwriting. Alongside her husband, Barry Mann, she co-wrote hits that defined an era. Their partnership flourished at the iconic Brill Building in Manhattan, where melodies flowed like poetry. Phil Spector, the enigmatic producer also played a role in their journey. Decades before his tragic downfall, Spectre collaborated with Weil and Mann, creating magic in the recording studio. Cynthia Weil's melodies will echo through time, reminding us that music transcends boundaries as we bid farewell to this trailblazer. Let's celebrate her artistry and honor her memory. We bring you a somber tribute to a remarkable talent lost too soon. French composer, pianist, singer, and music producer, Nino Vela passed away on July 1, 2024, at the age of 31. Born in Cholet, France, on November 18, 1992, Vela's musical journey was nothing short of extraordinary. Nino Vela's passion for music ignited at a tender age. He began music school at six, immersing himself in classical music and jazz. By the age of 11, he was experimenting with electronic music in a small studio at his parents' home. His versatility knew no bounds. Pianist, singer, guitarist, and drummer, he wore many hats. In 2012, Vela's talent earned him the Prix de Piano et le Prix d'Orchestration, au Conservatoire de Cholet. He composed original music for plays and co-founded the band Babel. Their performances resonated across France, Canada, and China. Vela's collaboration with artists like Maze, Yusult, and Mylene Farmer showcased his boundless creativity. In 2020, Vela lent his musical genius to the Netflix original film, How I Became a Superhero. The following year, he toured with singer Yusult, leaving audiences spellbound. His record label birthed the band Rue Queen, which triumphed on the artist's show, hosted by Nagy. Their album, Masculine, echoed through France, Switzerland, China, and Belgium. As we bid farewell to this musical luminary, we invite you to honor his legacy. Remember Nino Vela, a soul who painted melodies across our lives. We remember a remarkable artist whose music touched hearts around the world. I'm talking about the celebrated Georgian violinist, Liana Isaacads. Liana Isaacads was born on August 2, 1946, in Tbilisi, Georgia. She began her musical journey at the Tbilisi Central Music School, under the guidance of Professor Leo Shukashvili. Later, she honed her skills at the Moscow Conservatory, graduating in 1970. Isakadze's illustrious career spanned decades. As a prodigy of the legendary David Oistrakh, she won prizes at prestigious international violin competitions, including the Margaret Lom and Jacques Thabaud, Tchaikovsky, and Sibelius competitions. Her performances of works by Georgian composers resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. Isakadze's impact extended beyond the stage. She served as the long-term concertmaster of the Chamber Orchestra of Georgia and later became its artistic director and principal conductor. Her leadership elevated the orchestra's artistry, and in 1998, she brought it back to its native land. A true cultural ambassador, Isaacads founded international festivals, including the Enchanting Night Serenades in Georgia and Germany, where music transcended borders. She also established the Liana Isaacads Festival in Vienna and Liechtenstein, celebrating the universal language of music. Isaacads's accolades were numerous. She held the honorary titles of People's Artist of Georgia and People's Artist of the USSR, becoming the youngest musician ever to receive these honors. Her legacy lives on in the 2002 Encyclopedia, 2000 Outstanding Musicians. Today, we mourn the loss of Liana Isakadze, who passed away in Polisi on July 5, 2024, at the age of 77. Her music will forever echo in our hearts. We remember a remarkable woman whose legacy will forever be etched in Turkish history. Nilfer Gersoy, a distinguished philologist, politician and memoirist, passed away on July 1, 2024, at the age of 103. 
Nilfer Gursoy was more than just a name. She embodied resilience, intellect, and unwavering commitment to public service. Born Nilfer Bayar in Bursa, Turkey, in 1921, she hailed from a prominent family. Her father, Selo Bayar, served as Turkey's third president, and her upbringing was steeped in intellectual pursuits. In her academic journey, Nilfer attended Merif Kaleji, later TD Ankara College, and Istanbul University, where she studied philosophy. Later, she delved into classical philology at Ankara University, earning her Doctor of Philology degree in 1954. Her research on Europide's political views remains influential to this day. Nilfer Grusoy's political career was equally remarkable. She joined the Justice Party, Adalet Partisi, in 1961, serving as a deputy from Bursa in the 13th Parliament. Her eloquence and dedication made her a respected voice in the Grand National Assembly of Turkey. She later switched to the Democratic Party, Democratic Party, and continued her service as a deputy from Istanbul. Her commitment to democracy and justice never wavered, even during challenging times. The 1960 coup d'etat led to her dismissal from Ankara University, where she was an assistant professor. Yet she persisted, filing a lawsuit against the university and winning, though she chose not to return to academia. Today, we honor Nilfer Grusoy's legacy, a trailblazer who defied norms, championed education, and fearlessly advocated for her beliefs. As we bid farewell, let us remember her words. Knowledge is our greatest weapon against ignorance. We remember a remarkable leader who left an indelible mark on the financial world. Josu Joe Robles Jr., former CEO of USA, passed away on July 4th at the age of 78. Joe Robles was more than just a CEO. He was a soldier at his core. His service included multiple deployments and several distinguished honors. As a two-star general, he led with integrity and commitment not only to his teammates, but also to the millions of USA members and our great country. Robles joined USAA in 1994 as the chief financial officer and controller. Over the years, he served as corporate treasurer and chief administrative officer before assuming the role of CEO and president in 2007. Under his leadership, USA membership grew by 53%, revenue surged by 45%, and net worth soared by 68%. But Joe Robles was more than just numbers. He embodied resilience and determination. Even after revealing his battle with Parkinson's disease, he continued to steer USAA through challenging times. His legacy will forever be etched in the financial landscape. Today, we honor Joe Robles, a man who exemplified service, leadership, and unwavering dedication. As we say goodbye, let us remember his contributions and the impact he had on countless lives.